for every test to be performed we should know its principle so uh, we will see the principle of total bilirubin bilirubin glucuronate reacts with sulfur disonium salt and produces colored azobilirubin so uh, the color that show in our reaction is due to the azobilirubin formation and the intensity of color that is due to the azobilirubin is directly proportional to bilirubin concentration if bilirubin concentration is high then the reaction mixture will show intense color so guys in this video we will learn about how total bilirubin test is run in micro lab 300 so total bilirubin test has total four reagents R1, R2, R3 and R4. So we will take two test tubes, one for blank and one for test. We also take tube for standard, but that tube for standard is taken when we open the kit so that we can uh, find the value of standard. So in this case, as we have already uh, measured the standard value, so if we run test again and again we need not to measure standard value again so we will only take two tubes one for blank and one for test we will add r1 reagent in both blank and test tubes 100 microliter 100 microliter then we will add r2 reagent only in test tube that is 25 microliter then we will add r3 reagent r3 reagent in both tubes blank and test 500 microliter 500 microliter then we will add serum serum is added 100 microliter in both tubes then we will wait 5 minutes nuts for both tubes and then add r4 reagent uh, 500 microliter is added in both blank and test so final color after adding r4 will appear blank test tube color will appear light yellow and test tube color will appear green in which we have added r2 reagent so only difference between blank and test tube is r2 reagent this composition of bilirubin total these are important from your exam point of view so reagent r1 is sulfonylic acid hcl and citramide you can uh, remember is that hcs HCl, cetrimide, sulfonylic acid. Reagent two is also sulfonylic acid and HCl, but it is not cetrimide. Reagent three is sodium nitrate, and four is sodium hydroxide plus tartrate. Important point: the working reagent stability is seven days at two to eight degrees Celsius. Working reagent means. Uh, after adding all these reagents you have prepared one mono reagent that is called working reagent so its stability is only for few days if if you have not opened the reagent bottles then that reagents are stable up to the expiry date but once you have opened this reagents bottle and mix them all so that working reagent stability will be for few days the parameters of bilirubin total so first parameter is mode it is end point method what means end point method these are those methods which develop color as we have seen the blank tube develop light yellow color and test tube has develop green color so it is end point method the other one is kinetic method kinetic methods are those whose color do not change yeah or whose color or who do not develop color wavelength its wavelength is 546 nanometer it is its first wavelength its second wavelength is 630 nanometer its incubation time is 5 minutes after adding all the reagents we will incubate it for 5 minutes to 10 minutes then we will perform test incubation temperature is 37 degree celsius and its factor is 23 that we will feed in machine absorbance limit is its absorbance limit is 0.2 it can show absorbance up to this limit we will set all these parameters in our machine before performing test the calculations of total bilirubin uh, we can also uh, perform this test by manual method and 
if you have uh, to perform it on microlab 300 then these calculations are automatically set in our machine so total bilirubin is equal to absorbance of test minus absorbance of blank multiply factor that in case of total bilirubin is 23 so we will set all these parameters and this uh, formula in our machine and that machine will automatically calculate our value so total bilirubin value is total bilirubin is in the range of 0 to 2 milligram per dl and direct bilirubin direct bilirubin is in the range of 0 to 0 0.2 milligram per dl now let's start the procedure first of all take two test tubes one for blank and second for test four reagents r1 r2 r3 and r4 Now take 100 microliter pipette and add 100 microliter R1 in both tubes. Now add 25 microliter R2 in only second test tube marked as test. Now take R3 region and add 500 microliter R3 in both test tubes blank and test. Now add 100 microliter serum in both test tubes. After adding serum, we will wait for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add 500 microliter R4 in both tubes. After adding R4, blank test tube color will appear light yellow and test tube color will appear green. Now we will select the parameter of total bilirubin in our machine. First of all, back all the previous tests and press third button uh, press down button and select bilirubin total then press ok first of all it is saying mayor water blank so we will sip it distilled water so it will start marrying water blank it should be its value should be 0, 0.0 milligram per calculating water blank value the machine will say to sip blank tube so we will it sip it blank tube so after some time the blank tube value will appear then the machine will say to sip it test tube now uh, on the panel it is appearing press sipper to measure test so we will sip it test tube so it will take a few minutes to calculate its value so its value will appear on the panel 